What's going on everybody? It's your favorite dating coach, Elliot Scott, and as you can see by the title below, we're going to talk about can a guy go from friends with benefits to boyfriend, girlfriend, to a relationship, okay? And the good news is, yes, he can. But I think there's a little bit of, uh, there's some factors I need to talk about to, uh, to help you understand his thought process and to how, go, to how to go about it, okay? So if you haven't yet, please subscribe. Just click the red button below. I'll love you forever. And the little bell notification next to it if you want to get my videos right away. Get the nicest, I think the nicest information out there on attracting men okay so here's the thing first off I want to talk about the difference between how men and women go about relationships now a lot of women and feminazis I'm saying this to cover my ass I'm a libertarian and you see a lot of people freak out with what I'm about to say but hey F it I'm gonna say it okay uh, when women go about relationships they're you know they're going to say they go about it the same way as men, which is, oh, you know, I'm going to see what's out there. I'm not really looking for one. Let's see what happens. If I meet the right person, then I'll want one and things like that. I call bullshit. I think a lot of women, I like to, sorry, I like to think of women going through a hiring process. They're a boss and they're kind of filtering, you know, men, uh, you know, seeing what's out there. Uh, uh, you know, dating this guy, not feeling it, then dating this guy, not feeling it, oh, this guy's pretty cool, getting to know him, getting close, and then transitioning into a relationship. That sounds like what men uh, do. But for the most part, women already are going on these sites or going out, uh, you know, on Tinder, Bumble, OkCupid, okay, Plenty of Fish, to find a relationship. Now, of course, there's some out there who aren't. There's some women who just want to go online and screw, which is fine. But for the most part, a woman doesn't go online to just screw a bunch of guys. She goes on to see what's after, get along with the guy, and then transition to a relationship. But the difference is she has the pre-notion of wanting a relationship, which is, by the way, this is kind of a rant and kind of off topic, but which is why a lot of women lose in the battle of mind games, man versus woman, and things like that, because you have the desire of something already, and because of that, you fear losing him when you guys get very close, okay? It happens all the time. I see it all the time, okay? While, again, man, on the other hand, uh, you know, they just go with the flow. Whatever happens, happens. They have nothing to lose, okay? They're just going with it, which gets me on to how men go about this. You know, when a man goes on Tinder, for example, he will go on with no desire for a relationship and just screw, okay, or attention boost or uh, ego boost or whatever, anything like that. A man will go online, okay. Then he will meet, and again, guys can go online also looking for a relationship, but for the most part, the average guy, I would say, especially when he's younger, or he just got out of a, as a breakup or divorce or something like that, or he's emotionally unstable, whatever. He doesn't go online for a relationship. He goes online to see what's out there, hook up with a bunch of girls, uh, get his numbers in, whatever it is, talk at, at, attention, ego, boost, whatever it is. And then when he meets the right girl, he gets his reps in with her, he invests in her, and then it transitions into a relationship. The difference is, I think a woman has already the desire of the relationship, which doesn't make her needy. I'm not saying she's clingy. I'm not saying she needs a man. I'm not saying she's feminine. I'm not saying she's desperate or she's dependent on him. I'm just saying that's just how women go from an evolutionary uh, perspective, while men like to spread the seed, okay? Let's just put it like that. Uh, now, with that being said, you're asking, okay, well, speaking of spread the seed, I'm talking to a guy, and me and this guy have been talking for two months, friends of benefits, He's not committing. What's going on? Can he transition over? I would say absolutely yes, but that depends on several things. Okay, number one, um, I I'm a big believer in this. Okay, if a the way to attract a guy is to not only for him to be attracted to you, it, it could be in multiple ways: mentally, physically, sexually. Um, and things like that. Now, of course, guys are physical, sexual, and visual by nature, so looks are, you know, pulls a guy in. But you always hear them say, looks pulls a guy in, personality keeps up. That's true. I always say, though, that if you if you have some attraction, like I just mentioned, and then you have, you have him fully convinced that his life is better with you in it than without, 
truly convinced of that, that he can't, not, not can't live without you, that's a little strong, but he just loves his life with you, then without, then he's going to commit. The problem is, though, a lot of women fall into one of these categories, okay? Or they fall into the sub-fourth category that I talk about a lot. Um, or I talk about with my clients, at least, okay? And you might have seen this video where I say it's friends and benefits, girlfriend material, or um, uh, what's the other one? Uh, friend zone. Friend zone is where you have good chemistry, good connection, but it's not sexual. Friends and benefits is where it's pretty sexual, and you might have a little bit of chemistry, but it's, eh, it's not enough to commit to, okay? Um, and then girlfriend materials where you have both, an abundance of both. But there's a sub-fourth category, which is, okay, I like her, and she's cool to be around, but not enough, again, here's the problem, not enough for me to say, okay, I'm willing to give you up, especially if you meet them online, because there's competition out the ass. You know, where I'm willing to give all these other girls up who want my dick, all these other girls who are willing to see me, okay, for you. That's the problem, you know, and that's the beautiful thing with, or the beautiful contradiction with online dating, the double-edged sword, which is everyone's on it, it's so easy, it's so convenient to meet a guy, but that's the problem. Because it's so easy, because it's so convenient, you can, you're can you going to have competition and everybody's on it. And so when he's talking to you, you know, and he gets bored or there's a red flag, you're easily replaced because of the abundance of women. So that's why I go back to saying, if you rock his fucking socks off in bed, He's physically, emotionally, mentally, spiritually, whatever attracted to you. And then he feels like his life is better with you in it than without. You got him. Okay? That, I mean, a guy can't transition from friendship benefits to, uh, to girlfriend. I know because a lot of my relationships, when I do get into them, that's how they transition. Um, first, I'm, I, I would get with the girl, you know, not wanting anything serious, just more physical because I'm physically attracted to her. But then, of course, you know, when you have that that intimacy and then you kind of, you know, become vulnerable, pillow talk, get to know each other. Let, did I just spit there? Holy shit. Um, you know, things like that. Then you, you open up, you become more human. And that's the problem, right? I always tell women that the, the thing with online dating is, in the beginning, and it can be a good amount of time, like I'm saying, you know, several dates, you know, month or two, you're still a number. And I hate saying that because I'm not trying to objectify women. It's just reality. Men and women, right? Men and women. There's so many of you, and we're so conditioned, swipe, 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 that, you, that that's what we see. Swipe, 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 you know, that, I mean, that's what it is. We can't sit down and get to know each other, to, you know, where I feel like you're another human with feelings, which is why a lot of guys will ghost, which is why a lot of guys will pull away, which is why a lot of guys will do a lot of things, because I'm just talking to you. I'm not, you know, I'm not getting to see you exposed, vulnerable, um, and things like that, which takes time. But of course, like I said, time is the factor here. A lot of women will scare the guy away, or the guy might not be looking for the relationship, or whatever, you're on different pages somehow, and you just go your separate ways. But yes, you know, to sum this up, a guy can transition easily, I would say, from friends with benefits to relationship. It just depends on, you know, is he ready for, is this plugged in? If Is he ready for the relationship? Um, or if you're the right girl to fill that, that role over time, okay? So with that being said, ladies, I love you. Take care and peace.